ओके हैप्पी फ्राइडे एवरीवन हैप्पी सैटरडे टू एवरीवन फ्रॉम माय पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वे गोना वॉच बेंच शेविंग पैन ऑफ जे डी स्मिथ टू नाइट दिस वीडियो वॉज शेयर टू मी बाय अंडर कवर कॉप हु माइट बी हियर इन एनी टाइम रेट्रो कांडीडियो एंड थैंक्स टू अंडर कवर कॉप हू शेयर मी दिस ओरिजिनल फाइल and uh, i'm playing this thanks to him and goalie gamer is here hello goalie gamer and under cover cop hello happy friday to you guys right on time before you stand the ruins of an ancient rope wall when kirk gives a signal both players will climb across the wall if one of you falls you must both go back and begin again when you have crossed the wall both of you must have both feet on the ground before you can let go of the rope wall then run over and hit the gong the first four teams to hit their gongs will go on to the next round all right teams are you ready on your mark get set teams are you ready no response that's that's a first timer for me who's going to be our first four team or was it edited out i don't know you can't go on without your teammates oh silver snakes are ahead Silver snakes are true. Red jaguars are true. Blue barracudas nowhere to be seen. They might be the fourth team. Oh, oh unfortunate for the blue barracudas. Edited, which usually means the episode ran long. Ah, thank you. Kind of surprised because there was no response. And the orange iguanas and the green monkeys. and the red jaguars the purple parrots and the I, i kind of get the feel that jaguars i see this woman this woman in between these two kids this woman i kind of feel that i see this woman every time on every episode from season 2 or season 3 this woman i don't know is it i, I don't know I, i feel the i feel that i see that woman every time in every episode just my random thought the purple parrots and the blue barracuda has missed it by that much but we got a great gift for him and here's what it is you win a $50 savings bond from Crayola Model Magic the super cool super soft super amazing stuff that air dries in just a day to create really fun things to play with or display nine bright colors are squishable mushable even paintable crayola model maybe the quest continues and now it's time for omek to tell us about the bent shaving pan of jedediah smith the team's going to have to pay attention because your knowledge of the legend can bring you a step closer to omek's temple why does kirk fog always stand in between the second and third team why not in the first or second or third or fourth random one of the most fearless mountain men of all time was jedediah strong smith in the early 1800s he was the first frontiersman to brave the blizzards deadly animals and treacherous passes of the sierras he also led the first wagon raid into california legend has it he was tough as a buzzard and meaner than a polecat nothing scared him one morning while he was shaving and his trapper friend bill was burning the biscuits a bear came up behind jedediah his breath was hot on jedediah's neck but he just went right on shaving Bill tried to warn him. Jet, don't look now. There's a 600-pound grizzly standing right behind you. Grizzly? Ha! Huh. That's nothing but a well-fed mountain mole. With a great roar, the bear charged, and Bill knew he'd never reach his gun in time. But like lightning, Jedediah whipped around and bonked the bear's head with his metal shaving pan. The astonished bear let out a welcome and then turned and ran. <laughs> Jet looked ruefully at his bent shaving pan and wiped a drop of blood off his cheek. You hurt, Jet? No. Nah, I just need myself saving. When they got to California, Jedediah got a new shaving pan, and the old one ended up in the temple. Your task is to find the bench. Very interesting story that. Bring it back here. Omek, tell us where is the bench shaving pan? 
Oh, don't tell me it's in the observatory. All right, teams, you're now standing on okay, the King's storeroom. To keep all the teams in frame. Okay, now he's moving right to the fourth team and to the third team. This is what I like. Don't feel left out. The kids won't feel left out. The first two teams to make it to the bottom level will be one step closer to Omek's temple. All right. Omek, we are now ready for your first question. Was Jedediah Smith a cowboy soldier? A red jaguar. That is correct. What? Did the time run out simultaneously? I kind of confused. That is correct. Question, oh man. Okay. According to our legend, was Jedediah Smith the first to cross into Green Monkey? Um, to cross through the, uh, the California with the wagon train. That is not one. All that right. is correct. Okay. Nice recovery, Green Monkeys. No problem for the orange iguanas and the silver snakes. Plenty of time. We're looking for two teams. Oh. Like the drop of blood. Sorry. California with the wagon train. That is correct. All right. Nice recovery, Green Monkeys. No problem for the orange iguanas and the silver snakes. Plenty of time. We're looking for two teams. Next question. Jedediah Smith also led the first mountain rumba, wagon train, or charge of the orange iguanas. Wagon train. That is correct. Nice job. Step down, orange iguanas. She wasn't I somehow feel that the kids in, these, in this episode are kind of hesitant. Jedediah Smith was as tough as what bird? Orange iguanas. Polecat. That is not one of our three choices. They are red jaguars. That's what? That is correct. Good job, red jaguars. Step down. You're just one step away from the temple games. Next question. When the bear attacked, was Jedediah Smith cooking, shaving, or sleeping? Silver snakes. Shaving. That is correct. Step down. It's tied oh. up between three teams. Next question. What breed of bear attacked Jedediah? Orange iguanas. Grizzly. That is correct. Step down, orange iguanas. They're tied up with the red jaguars and only one step away. Next question. According to our legend, was the name of Jedediah's friend Bugsy Bertrand? Orange or iguanas. Bill. That is correct. We've got our first team right here. It's the orange iguanas. Keep going, Olmec. Next question. Is another name for a covered wagon, a radio flyer, a Conestoga wagon, or a station wagon? Silver Snake. Uh, social wagon? That is correct. Nice job. Now the Silver Snakes are tied with the That's Red Jaguars. That's a good comeback, Who's it going to be? Next question. In 1849, did many people rush to California to break into Hollywood? Green Monkey. Go. That is correct. All right, green monkeys have come back. Woo, who's it going to be now? The red jaguars, the green monkeys, or the silver snakes? Anybody's game. Next question, Olmec. Did Jedediah call the bear a well-fed... Green monkeys. Uh, mountain wolf. That is correct. Whoa, wow. coming from behind. Red jaguars have monkeys. lost it. I can't it. believe it. <laughs> what a match. I love the reaction of Red Jaguars when you know Green got the answer right there. Like, see the reaction here. That is correct. See, 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 see the guy here. Like, oh, throws his head off. No. No. Proper reaction. To this. Even Silver Snakes looks a little disappointed. That is correct. Whoa, coming from behind. Oh, that was a crazy reaction, actually. The guy from Silver Snakes. These reactions make me so happy I mean, to see the kids Can't you know, it. getting disappointed. That is correct. Whoa, coming from behind oh, come the green monkeys. They can't believe it. This <laughs> oh, what a match. They thought they were out of it, but they came back. Red Jaguars, Silver Snakes, you guys gave it a great effort. He too. doesn't even want to go to Kirkfolk. Now he silently oh, works. Job. We got a great gift for the Silver Snakes and the Red Jaguars. And here's what it is. Erect your sense. With a ah, set, you can it's okay. There's always a next time, maybe. Or anything else you can dream of. It's amazing what you 
you would be disappointed too if you were leading in another team game but uh, i mean you have to blame yourself if you're not stomping on that on the right time and giving the right answer i mean it's 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 somewhat luck at the same time if you're not sharp enough so i mean that's my opinion it's a lovely waterfall over there why do i feel that this is kind of pinkish this is because of the recording i feel it's a little pinkish the video is pinkish it could be bad if you catch it could be worse if you miss it it's an all new episode of are you afraid of the dark saturday night at 9:30 8:30 central on snick was this a show like brain bash grandma hey grandma want to play a game let's play brain bash two touch three Brain Bash, the five in one electronic voice four, command two, game. Six minus four. Touch three. That plus makes one, you one, think two, fast. Oh. Seven minus five. Zero, Act plus fast. Plus zero, one, touch or you'll one, get bad. Next game. Ah! Yep. Lose, you lose. Brain Bash from Tiger. If you've got the brains, we've got the. Probably brain. I recorded it in 1995. Then it stayed in a cardboard box for 14 years. Yeah. It's like a there's a pink filter on it. See at the corners there is a pink, but I love this actually. This looks so real, original. This looks original. Love these original stuff. Mini beats. And now back to Legends of the Hidden Temple, only on Nickelodeon. All right, you guys ready to play? Yeah. All right, go get ready for the Temple Games. Let me tell you what's going to happen here. In the Temple Games, they're going to be competing for those pendants of life. They're going to need those pendants to protect themselves from the dreaded Temple Guards as they make their way through the Temple. Oh. There are three Temple Games. Omek, tell us about Temple Game number one. While finding his way through the forest, Jedediah had to live off the land. Before you lies a path through the forest, filled with fish, berries, and ducks. Your task is to walk through the forest and bring the food back to your campsite. When Kirk gives the signal, step onto the path. If the path sinks into the ground, return to the start and try mm. a different path. Otherwise, continue on to the next step. When you reach the middle, grab a piece of food, return on that same path, and drop the food in your bin. The first player to get all three types of food in their bin, or the player that's further along at the end of 60 seconds... How do you measure further along in this food, episode, right? in this game? The one with the most? Get set, go! Oh, not a good start for orange. Ooh, three. Ah. Good, 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 good stuff, Green. You gotta watch your step here. It's your least favorite temple game of season three. Ah, okay. Oh, the orange iguanas have got a piece. Oh, they gotta drop and go back. Why don't you place one foot on that and see if it's sinking or not, and then take it back, like trial and error. Maybe they are not supposed to do that. Oh, she's done. She's so quick. She did it with 15, 15 16, 17, 17, 16 seconds left. This game basically just comes down to dumb luck. I call this game the total bull star 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 game. Against the rules. Okay. No expressions from girl in green. It's worth a half pennant. Omek, tell us about Temple Game number two. While clearing the long trail of rocks and debris, Jedediah and his friend Bill devised a game to make the work go faster. 
They tossed boulders over each other's head, and whoever could throw the most would get out of doing the dishes that night. When Kirk gives the signal, hurl the rocks over the net and through the hole on your opponent's side. If you miss, there's already a pink one over there. Then you can block your opponent's shot, but you can shoot only your own color rocks. The player that throws the most rocks through the hole in 60 seconds wins. And the oh, other okay. player has to do the dishes. That's a drag. Let's set 60 seconds on the clock. Honey Mark, get set, go. <laughs> Ooh. One for the orange iguanas. You can't throw two at a time or three at a time. You can only throw one at a time. Oh, it's a little too high. Oh, there's a guy who's counting and there's a guy who's putting the count. I think you can throw as many as you want. Ah, okay. Craig Trulock is in the chat. Hi Craig, how are you? Good to see you. This is the second time that I'm seeing you in the live stream. Good to see you. Ooh. I don't see any blue greens in that 14 to 5 that's like a huge difference so nice job by the orange iguanas let's take a look at the score the green monkeys had five once he got the rhythm he started making it and dude the, uh, he didn't make it had <laughs> so the orange iguanas get the half pennant of life I want the green to win I have some sympathies with the green why are they wearing kneecaps for this? It, it's kind of fully safe, right? Maybe safety measures. measures. Pink looking all Mac. The side walls look a little pinkish. I love this pink flavor. Off the other side, your teammate will catch the boulder and place it in your bin. Then go on to the next one. The team with the most boulders. You have clearly not never fallen off. I did once. Put 60 seconds on I did back. once. On your mark, get set, like a couple of years go. back. Oh, that's a good toss. That's a little high higher. Oh, good catch, boy. Come on, green. This is a serious campsite. They might want to have chosen a different one. Oh, good catch. I, I favor the green to win this. Come on, green. That's a poor toss. What is she even doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, good catch, boy. She's kind of throwing it randomly, like there's no proper way of throwing. Oh, that's a good catch, but right, let's go in. Come on, guys. Unhook them. Bring them down in the middle. Let me count it out over here. Let's go over to the green monkeys. You can follow me over here. They had uh, one, ah, two for the green monkeys. And if you follow me over here. The orange iguanas here. Things don't look good, good for green monkeys. Had one. Ow. Oh, two. Oh, no. They no. had, so it's a tie. They each get <laughs> we're searching for the third one. Pendant. It's a tie now. They each have a pendant and a half. We go to the tiebreaker. In a second, Omex going to ask you a question. If you think you know the answer, I want you to hit the gong in front of you. You'll have three seconds to answer, and I've got to take your first response. If you and your partner are right, you'll be going inside the temple in search of the bent shaving pan of Jedediah Smith. But if you're wrong or run out of time, I'm going to give the other teams a chance to answer. All clear? Yes. All right, Omex, we're ready for your final question. Was Jedediah Smith's middle name... Orange Iguanas. Strong. That is correct. Oh. Hey, That's so unfortunate. I hate this. But it's okay. 
I wanted the green to go through. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Just a little disappointed that green didn't go through. There'll be some ad breaks. Yeah, speaking of the trampoline thing, there is a playing arena over here where, uh, similar to that one, there would be some uh, where you can jump, where you can jump, throw stuff, and uh, there would be bricks of rubber, not rubber. There will be some bricks. You can uh, jump, or you can just play around with your friends or kids. And there would be something where you could climb and then jump from there. So I've fallen off from the trampoline or there's a ramp kind of a thing, you just jump. I slipped and fell off. Ah, sky zone, yeah, that's the word, that's the word, sky zone. Sky zone, we have it here. Let's see how this temple run ends up. Just one of the many interest groups you'll find in the new Prodigy. Call 1-800-PRODIGY for software. 1-800-PRODIGY. Flintstones. I've been trashed. What? I need the chocolatiest tasting cereal in the world to beat them. Kids say that's my Cocoa Pebbles. Mmm, more chocolatey than all the others to fight crime. <laughs> they really bowl me over. Post Coco Pebbles cereal. Part of this complete breakfast. Coco Pebbles. The legends of the hidden temple. Only on Nickelodeon. Lovely piece of cinematography over there. Welcome back to Legends. Irish and Brian have proven themselves worthy and now Irish in their Olmex temple. But before they get started, and Brian give them some information to help them retrieve that bent shaving pan. They're going with one and a half, is it? Yeah. You could start by running up the stairs to the crypt, grab the book from the skeleton, and pass into the pit of the pendulum. Knock over the column and climb into the king's storeroom. Smash the clay pots to find the key that will lead you into the chamber. The sacred mark. Irish is not a common American first name. Maybe she is not an American. Place yourself in the correct armor. Irish. <gasps> Went to see the Super Mario movie today. I want to go for it. I want to go. I watch the 3D version. We'll talk about it later. I want to go uh, watch that movie. A bench shaving pan. To protect three specific rooms. You can trade your pendant for an extra life and go on, but if you're she has to go from the down, you'll be taken out of the temple, and it'll be Brian's turn to enter and try his luck. Hidden somewhere in the temple is the other half of your pendant. If you can find it and you're carrying the other half, you will get an extra life. If you can reach the shaving pan, all of the doors of the temple will instantly unlock and the temple guards will vanish. Return through the gates with the bent shaving pan of Jedediah Smith, and you will both be handsomely rewarded. And here's how. For 
Plus, you get a spectacular portable stereo. I was HSJS415 headphone stereo recorder. Features three-way auto reverse, digital AM FM tuner, tone controls, microphone, and headphones. If it sounds good, it's Iowa. Grab the shaving pan within three minutes, and you'll also receive an electronic dartboard. Arachnid, the originator of electronic soft tip. Arachnid. 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 That automatically scores for you from Arachnid. If you can bring the shaving pan out of the temple before three minutes is up, you'll both be going to Isla Morada, Florida. Mm. One of South Florida's most beautiful oceanfront resorts. Offering Chica Lodge. Golf, as well as a variety of water sports, Camp Chica also offers exciting activities for kids. From Chica Lodge. All right, let's see if we can get all three of those, okay? All right, Irish, let's get in position. Put your mouthpieces in. Lower the gate, Omek. Weirdly, in season two and season three, Kirk Fogg never asked for the strategy. Because of the time constraints. Maybe. Go. There she goes. Whoa. Into the temple. Whoa. Up into the crib. Hold the book. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, try another. Why is she so confused? Doors open. She's heading to the center of the pendulum. Wow. Woo! A good the kick. Drop off! Go, Irish. Move quick. Move. Into the tube of the headland. Oh, dude. Didn't phase her. She's moving on. Find the skull. Find the skull. Kirk Fogg is literally running the run. Are you serious? Don't go there. Waste of time. Uh. Oh, dude, you have to hit. She's. I don't know if she's even doing this right. Okay. Was that room locked or something? Oh, that's a good, good thing. It's in the shrine of the silver monkey. No, yeah. Don't tell me this is a solo win. Oh yeah, good job. One room away. That's the third one. Uh, I'm scared for her now. Oh dude, it always has to be the third one. Whee! How cruel is that? Dude, 30 seconds is a little... Ah. Uh, no. He's going to have to move a lot faster. 11 seconds as he goes to the tomb of the headless king. Three, two, one. Oh, they ran out of time. Oh, another brutal layout, man. Good job, Irish. We gotta go. We gotta walk out of here. See you again next time for another great legend. Here's Brian, the legend of the Hidden Temple. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Ah, what a brute of a run. I would have preferred her getting caught somewhere here. Sorry, not here. Somewhere here. Uh, this room, I would have preferred her getting caught. That would have given Brian at least 1 minute 20 seconds to give it a try. But even he might get caught in the ne in this room. Because he has only half the pendant. Where the Where is the other half of the pendant? 
Was there somewhere in the pit? I don't see if there is a half pendant here. The camera looks out of focus. Yeah, please join in. Please join in. I'm, I'm, I'm in the room. Uh, I'm, I'm in the room right now, waiting for you guys. Please join in. In the meantime, uh, I'm trying to figure out where the other half of the pendant is. I can't find it at all. Right. Yeah, brutal run again. Tough. Hello. Hi, Goldie Gamer. Hello, Undercover Cop. Good evening. Oh. Hi there. Yuppie. Hi. How was the okay. movie? How was the movie of uh, Super Mario? Oh, no spoilers. Awesome movie. I have a feeling that movie is now going to be in my top ten movies of all time. Ah, is it that good? It is. Did you watch the well, 3D version or the regular version? Well, well, the showing that my dad and I we went to today, mm -hmm. it, it, we we had 3D glasses on, so we went to a 3D show. Uh, even it's 3D version here, so I might give it a try this Sunday. Waiting to watch it. Yeah, we, yeah, we 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 are we ordered our tickets in advance, so. Okay. So okay, was, okay. There are not many yeah. people who watch English films here. I mean, Avatar was completely full for a week. But for Super Mario, I think th there wasn't much advanced booking, so I, I, I'll straight away go there and take a ticket and watch it. Yeah, there's been a lot of hype of that about that movie on Discord, uh -huh. or it's since, since, since we heard about it. Uh -huh, okay. How long is the movie? Is it like two hours or two and a half? Yeah, it's about two hours. I didn't really time it because because I wasn't really paying attention. I was more focused on the movie and all okay. all the references to the games that I I saw. I won't won't really point them out. I'll wow. I'll let I'll because I want because I want you to be able to see it for yourself if you can. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, usually what happens here is when they screen the movie, they tell you that it's a two hour thirty minutes movie. There will be an interval I in between. Know, they, yeah. I know they usually do that, uh -huh. but I, I didn't. I didn't find out that information. Ah, uh, okay, okay, no worries. All right, if you're ready, you can give me the review, sir. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, once again, we have a run that was made difficult, but oh no, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm reading the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> once again, Temple Guard placement ruined this run, as you saw, dear boy. <laughs> yeah. Irish made a lot of progress. She encountered one Temple Guard in the tomb of the Headless Kings. And then another in the room of the ancient warriors. By the time she got taken out, there was only about 30 seconds left, which wouldn't have been enough time for Brian to get back to where Irish left off. Yeah. Oh, oh, by the way, I'll, I'm just being a uh, correction of the Mario movie is an hour and a half, not two hours. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. What do you guys? Oh, oh. oh. quick review. Yeah, this episode ran long because they don't do the contestant introductions in the Temple games. They just... it was back from yeah. commercial and Kirk and those. You guys ready to play? Yeah, um, I figured. Fun. I figured they had they had to cut that for time. Yes. Yep. This episode ran long because you can tell there's a, there's other things. I think the steps of knowledge went on for a while, and I think that all the Temple games went for. Close to, if not sixty seconds, and they had a tiebreaker. Um, oh, I think else? I I thought the thought the one thing that would cause runs to to go to to go on for a long time would be the moat crossings. But one Undercover Cop, moat. the first Temple game ran for only 30, 46 seconds. It completed within fourteen seconds to spare. Yeah, but still, it's it's not like it was over in twelve seconds. It, this episode ran long. Uh huh. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. and, um, yeah. Irish has, al has um, uh, uh, alopecia. I didn't notice that until recently. She's got a, if you look in the, uh, she's got, um, on the, I think either the left side or the right side of her head, you can see some, uh, alopecia. Um, oh. which, by the way, Irish is not a common name. Yeah. Um, this is, um, the, so the, the half pendant, most people think that it's, it's, uh, in the jester's court on the... The doorway to the dark forest, resting on the doorway to the dark forest, because uh, there's a thing that looks kind of out of place there. I don't know if that is the half pendant, but most people think it is. A gesture yep, right court, there. you mean, right? Yeah. 
Uh, what did I say? Uh, you said Death Forest. Well, yeah, but it's the door from the Jester's Court to the Dark Forest. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, usually in other seasons that had the swamp, then it's usually on the actuator if it's in the swamp. No okay. swamp, so... See, right, see how they're like, pause it right there, pause it right there. Oh. Before it turns to... to um... Oh, um... One of the few in season three where they find the key to go up. Um, uh, pause it when she's on the third, but you get a long shot. All right, let's uh, third. So the 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 theory is it's on the in the back. The well, theory is that it's resting on the door. It's hanging from the path from the Jester's Court to the Dark Forest on that door. Okay. Well, well, if, if it's really there, then it's pretty hard to see in the shot. Uh, yeah, I agree. I don't know where else it could be, other than maybe the the um, quicksand maybe. bog. Well, um, well, we didn't spell. Um, well, maybe. I, I mean, just the maybe. It's, poss it's, it's a possibility that it's a long shot, but there were a couple of episodes at least where the other half pendant was in the chamber of the sacred marker on the le on the panel on the left side uh, above the left side panels maybe it was there the door didn't open to the to the chamber so right oh oh but yeah like but then again it could have opened after the tomb of the headless kings and we don't see a shot of it did they did mention really anything in that website that legends fandom website oh the wiki oh yeah. let me let me check here the other guard was in the quicksand bog. Know that much. Okay. Were you really thinking this might be a solo win? Well, if not for the room where she got caught for the second time, this could be a so. This could have been a solo run. That's what I believe. Well, it couldn't have. I mean, it it could not have because the two guards were unavoidable. But yeah, if the guard hadn't been there, yeah. it would have. She. But what? Oh, another thing that's interesting about this is if Brian had gotten to the room he would not have had to do a single objective to get to the object all the doors would have been open to it already because irish already did all the yeah. tasks because when she got caught that opened the door to the uh observatory hmm. oh hey uh hey um cop you're actually right the other the other half pendant was in the jester's court and hmm. the idea and the last temple guard was in the quicksand block oh uh, okay yeah. So, but so, so as that. So, with that being said, if Irish actually plowed through the wall, then Brian would have. Then Brian would have had a little more work to do. Mm. But, but, he, but they probably still would have missed it anyway, because Brian would have had to put the monkey together. Mm. And Brian was mega slow. Yeah. Oh yeah, slow. you you saw how he how he was being being cautious in the pit of the pendulum. I think even Irish was a little slow to start off with. She was kind of confused in the first. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When we're at the minute 30 mark, you're either going, either she wins it by herself or this is not going to happen. Exactly. There's no way. Yeah. Yeah. But again, this is interesting in that Brian would, because all the doors would have been open to the King's storeroom, Brian would not have had to do any of the objectives. He could have just run in straight to the to the shaving pan which I, I don't know of any other scenario where that's happened but that, but that would have been that would have been too easy if they did that no 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 i mean like irish when irish did the room of the ancient warriors that opened the door to the to the observatory to the king's storeroom which means that all the doors were already open for brian if if, if let's say hypothetically brian had a minute on the clock yeah. Brian would go through up the dark forest, through the shrine, through the room of the ancient warriors, and then straight to the to the king's storeroom. Yeah. He would not have had to do any objectives to get to the shaving pan. Yeah. Irish would well, already have done them. Okay. Well, I don't. Well, I don't know if we caught this on the shot, but did the arm? Well, did the armor that hid the temple guard open the door to get to the king's storeroom? Mm. Tried all three. So the so that meant the last one would have had to open the door, right? So exactly. and if that was the case, then Brian needed should have should have moved a little faster, and maybe he would have had a well, fight. Well, she chance. pulled down the lever. I assume the door was opened because she pulled down the lever of the third one. Yeah. 
and you hear the you yeah, hear the sound of exactly. the, the uh, sound effect they do. Also, the scream. She screams. That's an actual scream. One of the rare times where they don't put a scream in. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. So, so you're telling me that she did not see the doors already open before she tried the tried the last armor? No, no, no. I'm saying that I'm saying that when she tried the last armor, that opened the door. Yeah. Yeah. There, there we go. That that, that meant mm -hmm. that Brian just had to do like a quick. To could have, if Brian was faster, he could have jumped in just a quick straight quick trip through, and bam, he would have been there in time. And if Irish had also been faster, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Cause, oh, because she she took her sweet time in a couple of places. Exactly. Why did why so is that, this episode your favorite one? Any specific reasons? And as I said, well, well, like I said. The the, the 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 temple guard placements ruined the run pretty much. Okay. It's unique. There's no other run quite like this one, I think. You sure about it? Um. Yeah. This, this is not. This is not, not the three, only yeah. instance I can think of yeah. where a temple guard placement ruined the run. Yeah. Like another instance. Um. And um, Drew, I don't know. Okay, I gotta check your check the list you sent me mm -hmm. and see if you uh, see if you actually did this one already. So let me see. Uh, yes, you did this one already. Uh, another instance where where mm -hmm. Temple Guard place, placements practically almost nearly ruined the run mm -hmm. was the Dragon Lady in the Blue Pearl from season one. Oh, okay, okay. She gets captured one room away, but she actually she uh, made up the time again. That was one of the better teams on the show. Okay. Yes, but the. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really the, the unfortunate one was just being like a hand reach away from the pearl when time ran out. But but I think the thing that slowed her down was having to wait for wait for the well. Oh, that one where the camera zooms in to her hand and she tries to grab that one, the, that thing. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You should have given her the second place. Yeah. Out. They got screwed. They had a they had a really crappy layout. Yeah. You uh, know what they were doing? That was one of the better teams in season one. Oh, why do I, I, like I have a question. Yeah. So, in the steps yes. of knowledge, is there any uh, uh, limited amount of questions, or is there, a, or does Olmec have around twenty or thirty questions, so that even if there is a wrong answer, he keeps going on? I think he's got like thirty. Oh, okay. I'm sure they've got enough, and because again, they're given more mm -hmm. in the break between the moat and the steps of knowledge, they're given a longer version of the legend. Oh, study okay written form okay. so yeah so that means basically the legend that we hear on the show is basically for the sake of not just the studio audience but the people at home uh, okay yeah because that's understandable sometimes there are general questions so that come in that's not part of the legend yeah understandable also i hate that temple game that temple game can go die <laughs> Why are you so against it? Uh, not so much in this episode, but there's a bunch, there's a couple episodes mm -hmm. where a team loses basically just because of dumb luck. No. Uh, okay. Uh, wait, wait, which which temple game are you talking about? The one with the posts. Oh, which where if, if it sinks, you go back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know what you mean. Basically, it just comes down to luck. I mean, not completely to... luck. You just you just have to remember your steps. I mean, you, you, it's like trial and error. You step in, if it falls down, you come back, you remember that that's not the one and try something it, else. So it's it's basically like a memory game. Exactly. Yeah, but there's a ver yeah, but there's a version of it where um, mm -hmm. both start out, on they, they're just trying to cross to the other side. Okay. And you can just uh, watch your opponent mm -hmm. and then when they sink, you just take the path they took. I think it's just kind of be. I think that's not. I don't. I mean, it's fair, but it's just kind of. Mm -hmm. I don't like the fact that it comes down to dumb luck and not mm. skill. Like, I, like I, w I feel like there's a better way to do this game that doesn't involve. Like, there's a way to do a memory game that doesn't involve random chance. Okay. Makes it sense. does look cool. Oh, you mean, uh, oh, you mean like, uh, like, like this, like, like the, one of the rend, uh, the, the, uh, variations of the pick your choice squirt thing? It's like, it was in the, is it, it, it was in, in the, uh, the Sacred Ring of Sultan Soliman, where Olmec 
gives the order, and then they have to remember what the order is. Yeah, that would have been better if they'd been told the order of the steps or if something like that, but they weren't. Um, anything else? Does anyone know yeah, where the other temple guard is in this room? Quick Quick sandbox. sandbox. Quick sandbox. Oh, yeah. Quick sandbox. She breaks the wall. She gets caught. Brian goes in. He's got to find the other half bandit. Uh, right. So right. So no actually, it's, it's actually it's very fortunate that that um, that Irish did not plow through the wall. Because if she did, and Brian made it up to the room, the ancient warrior, the run would have been a triple seizure. Yeah, but the uh, the asterisk there was Brian was never going to make it to the room of the ancient warriors because he was so slow. Yeah, uh, that that is true too, and and I and Irish could have been a little faster, even though um, she did all did all the major work. Any other notes? I I not not that I've got I've got it covered. All right, we got a um cool. Um, do other, do you want to do? You go ahead. You're the one running this. Uh, I will not be available next week and also the other week following after so because I'm traveling outside. So I'll be back on uh, 28th night, 20th? April 28th night. That's good. Oh, 28th. So 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 you're gonna be back in three weeks. Yeah, I'll be out of house. So 14th and 21st, no stream. Back on 28th. I'll be doing that episode, Xerxes. Xerxes episode okay. that one you yeah. Yeah, I'll be doing. I don't that. have that one recorded, so you no worries. I'll, I'll find uh, I'll find a resource for that. I'll do that episode. Okay. And, I have a few uh, others, right. mostly season three and a couple season ones, and only yeah. one or two season two. We'll talk about that later. Have a safe vacation. Yeah, thank uh, you so yep. much. All right, take take care. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. All right. Uh, thank you to Undercover Cop and Goldie Gamer for joining the chat. And Caleb Willis, this is the first time I'm seeing you, man. If anyone wants to talk about this uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple with me and along with us, you can join in the Discord. If you want to join the Discord, let me know. I'll share the link. I don't want to share the Discord link in public because that will attract a lot of spam. So. If anyone wants to talk about it, feel free to ask me for the link. I'll share it with you personally. So that you can join the Discord and have a voice chat. Give your own version of your review, debate. Not debate, just putting your opinions and stuff. And uh, I'll be happy to get people along. And I'll upload this video on YouTube in uh, in a couple of weeks. No, not a couple of weeks, in a couple of hours. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks. So the next stream would be on 20... 8th of April, so save your time for that. And please do join in. It will be around, I don't know what Eastern timing or Pacific timing it is. Um, let me check that. Because most of the viewers are from um, US, so it should be around 8.30. 8.30 Eastern timing, so um, join in and also check out the YouTube video. Until then, thank you so much. Have a wonderful Friday night. Saturday and Sunday. Have a good rest of the week. I'll see you on April the 28th. Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.